Your brain is incredible. It can learn languages, do sums, and, with some chemical help, even make you see and feel things that aren't really there. Yep, I'm talking about psychedelics, and specifically LSD. Taking LSD is also called dropping acid, and there's a reason for that. It's an acid, easy. Like surgic acid diethylamide, if you're being precise. The discovery that LSD made you trip is so famous that we've named a day after it. That's Bicycle Day on April the 19th, 1943. Albert Hoffman, a Swiss chemist, had made a new drug based on compounds found in the ergot fungus. It's worth noting that this gross fungus caused gangrene, convulsions, death, and madness throughout history. And it's because people consumed bread made with rye that was infected with ergot. In fact, it's thought to be the cause of accusations of witchcraft. Hoffman had felt a little strange after working on his new ergot-based drug, so, sensibly, he decided to take quarter of a milligram of it and see what happened. His bicycle ride home was strange and terrifying. He believed he couldn't move and that time had stopped. Then, when he got home, his next door neighbour had become a witch and he found that, as he said, a demon had invaded me and taken possession of my mind, body and soul. Still, he woke the next day apparently feeling amazing and dedicated the rest of his career to studying mind-altering drugs, hoping that they could be used in psychiatry. So, what made him feel what he felt? LSD is a powerful hallucinogenic. It can make you see and hear things that aren't there. One common effect is that time can feel like it's slowing down as Hoffman experienced. You might also see kaleidoscopic visual imagery, feel changes in your body image, and have mystical type experiences too. All of this is going on inside your brain. And LSD is actually incredibly free love about the whole thing. It affects tons of your nerves receptors, including dopamine receptors, adrenergic receptors, and serotonin receptors. That last one is particularly interesting, especially for hallucinations. Serotonin appears is elsewhere in the body, but as a neurotransmitter, it's got a big role in the brain, where it's involved in your mood, feelings, and sleep patterns. The receptor involved in making you hallucinate is a type of serotonin receptor called 5-HT2A. Now, these 5-HT2A receptors are found in your brain, where they play a big role in the visual cortex, hence the weird trippy visuals. But interestingly, they're also found in your gastrointestinal tract, and your circulatory system too. Now, if I'm honest, science doesn't really understand exactly how LSD acts on these receptors to produce hallucinations. There are a bunch of ideas, including one from Professor Jack Cohen. He's a mathematical biologist, and he believes that the characteristic lines and kaleidoscope patterns seen when you're tripping arise because of the innate tendency of the brain to make patterns when it becomes unstable. And he's even built a computer model that can hallucinate. So. Is any of this stuff dangerous? Well, there have been very few known cases of LSD overdose, and most actually happened when people thought it was another drug. In 1972, eight people mistook it for cocaine and snorted a huge amount. They ended up very unwell, bleeding internally and in a comatose state, but all did survive and recover. Although one recent American study would suggest there is no link between LSD use and mental health, the jury is most definitely still out on its long-term effects, especially for people with a susceptibility to mental illness. But in controlled conditions, there may even be some positive effects. Some are arguing for using LSD and other psychedelics to treat depression, or even to help terminally ill patients come to terms with their impending death. The wife of author Aldous Huxley reported that she gave him LSD on his deathbed at his request, and that he had the most beautiful death. Still, the effects of a trip can be terrifying, especially if you're in an unsafe space, feel nervous, or have a history of mental issues. Plus, you can also have flashbacks months later. And people have been known to hurt themselves while tripping. Also, because it's a class A drug, the people selling it are not exactly Mr. Trustworthy. In 2014, five people were charged with murder when a girl died after taking their synthetic LSD. So please, don't just try anything someone hands you at a party. And that goes double if they work for the CIA. Yep, throughout its history, LSD has been used for some pretty messed up things. In America, in the 1950s, the MK 
Ultra program involved the military and the CIA secretly slipping LSD to prison inmates, their own party guests, and people who visited prostitutes. This ludicrously unethical experimentation caused a huge amount of suffering and lies behind many conspiracy theories today. That doesn't take the cake for the strangest use of LSD though. For my money, that would be the 1962 elephant on acid experiment. They gave Tusco the elephant 297 milligrams of LSD, an enormous dose. He reacted badly and while they were trying to calm him down, the researchers managed to kill him. Poor Tusco. To end on a happier note, you might be pleased to hear that researchers at Imperial College London have completed the first modern imaging study into the effects of LSD on the brain and a crowdfunding campaign to complete the research raised double its original goal. Now that sounds like a better way to look in the mind. No psychedelics required. Oh, bonus fact. Talking of animal antics, good one to leave you with. Although LSD has a long association with Alice in Wonderland and white rabbits, rabbits are actually the animal that is most sensitive to overdosing.